What started off with thousands of athletes worldwide has been whittled down now to just over 100. We're going to give you your fair share of push-ups, sit-ups, and pull-ups on the sports desk this week. Get ready, Torrance. It's all in an effort to find you the fittest athlete in the world. From now on, you'll know them simply as the games. In the sport of CrossFit, it's a belief that no other contest, from Ironman races to the NFL, can truly test fitness like this. A three-stage journey for athletes from all over the world, coming here for a week-long event where fitness can't be trained, it can only be tested. So, how in the world do you figure out the fittest athlete on the planet. Pretty abstract concept, right? Well, LAPD's Tori Morgan lives and trains right here in Torrance, and slowly but surely he's finding out the answer to that question. Our Colin Kushner has the story on how he could become the first athlete from the South Bay to get on this very field. Yeah, I'm gonna go squat right now, low bar. When you take one look at Tori Morgan, you know he is an athlete. The LA police officer played collegiate football at LA Harbor College, but after he decided to stop pursuing the sport, he found refuge in something else. I just didn't have the uh, desire to pursue it after junior college, which I do miss, but you know, things like CrossFit have uh, filled the void of competition and a need to train and a hobby. Let's just say that Tory starting to CrossFit wasn't exactly planned. When he was at a local 24-hour fitness, he was approached by one of the trainers. And what started out as just an idea developed into a passion. I was just a normal, like a normal, you know, buys and tries, you know, regular, like stuff that I did in high school, stuff that I was used to. But it was something so challenging that when he first introduced it to me, it's kind of like it grabbed me right away. And it was like hard. It's like you kind of plateau on your regular things, but CrossFit is always challenging. Every day it's a new challenge. So it just attracted me. Tori went into CrossFit without the intentions to go out and compete, but over time, that started to change. I strictly went in for because it was something different and I noticed my body changing. Like I noticed myself losing weight and I was happy with the results. And we just worked out in the gym, so I had no idea how I compared to people that did it competitively. And it just so happened once Daniel opened his own gym, we found out that I was pretty decent compared to some of the other competitors, so I'm able to compete at a decent level. The last few years, Morgan has competed in different individual and team competitions, including the last four SoCal regional games. But just like any athlete, he has his strengths and weaknesses. I'm a bigger guy, so a lot of body weight movement, maybe like handstand push-ups or something like that can come back to get me, whereas moving weight isn't necessarily the problem. Tori's love of CrossFit doesn't just stop at himself. He is also a coach. I'm just as happy with one of the members getting a PR or their first muscle up, like that's just as exciting to me as anything I'll do. Just like everyone else, Tori's main goal is to qualify for the CrossFit Games, which he has been so close to achieving. For a guy that started CrossFit just for fun, he has worked extremely hard and could be the first competitor from the South Bay to make the Games. My main goal is, of course, to get to the CrossFit Games. I mean, that's why I do it. But also my goal is, I'm also somewhat a a realist and I don't know if that's necessarily always a possibility for me. So I mean, I'd like to either form a team with my gym to possibly get to the CrossFit Games, or I'd just like to keep maintaining and getting slowly better and keeping this going as long as possible. Thanks for that, Colin, and sure enough, what do you know, we're cruising the games, a break in the action, and I'm joined by the man himself, you just met him, Tori Morgan. Tori, you're not competing quite yet, but out here enjoying the games nonetheless? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I, I didn't come last year, but um, Every time you come to the games, you kind of get re-inspired, and it's such a great atmosphere, and the, uh, the workouts are awesome, the athletes are awesome, and the fans are awesome, so it's really good to be here. What's it like for you, uh, kind of at this point, sitting on the sidelines but watching these guys compete? What's that do for your motivation to get through the next year and, and hopefully get out here? I mean, it definitely makes you uh, want to get back in the gym and uh, train a little harder, maybe uh, work, really work those weaknesses. Um, you're somewhat jealous of the... but. Uh, when they're getting through some of these workouts, sometimes you're not so jealous because they're pretty uh, 
rough workout sometimes. And we were just talking about this a minute ago. You made a pretty big jump in the SoCal regionals. You went from uh, 27th a couple years ago to 9th, is that, or 11th. And you need to be in the top three, of course, to qualify for this. Tell people what the jump is in your work year to year to get to that point. Um, I think what it is is that uh, you can't, you, you gotta definitely focus on your weaknesses, but you can't, you still gotta focus on everything else because CrossFit, the regionals every year, it's gonna surprise you what it is. Uh, so you just gotta shore up your weaknesses and get stronger at your strengths. That's, that's what it's all about. And then hopefully uh, the workouts come out and they're in your favor. That's all you can really hope for. Perfect. All right, well, there you have it. One of LA's finest, a homegrown Torrance boy. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be rooting for him here next year. Coming up, now that you've met one of Torrance's toughest athletes, after the break, you'll meet an Australian athlete who visits Tori's same Torrance gym each year on her way to becoming the fittest on earth. And this year, she has a special travel partner. Winston, just one more inning, Grandma. Ever notice how many things today kids can do without actually moving? A whole lot of things their parents used to do the hard way. So many kids' activities today seem to leave out the activity part, which makes exercise even more important for children. In fact, new research tells us the best time to enhance bone development is during childhood and adolescence. And just getting children to walk an extra 35 minutes a day could spare them the pain of thinning bones later in life. Healthy bones come from healthy habits. Encourage your kids to get up, get out, and get moving. Hello. Hey, Grandma, how about another grape soda? A public service message on building strong bones for kids from the Pediatric Orthopedic Society of North America and the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. That moment? It was a moment that changed my life. I'd been training with my team for months, and now we had been called up for the first time. The real deal. Wildfires were getting dangerously close to homes. At that moment, I got my first taste of just how important the Guard is to my community. See how the Guard can be an important part of your life at NationalGuard.com. A few years ago, Australia's Power Web started training and has become one of the fastest rising stars in the world of fitness ever since. Now, when your life's work takes you all over the globe, it's really important to find a home away from home everywhere you go. That's why Torrance has become the perfect place for her to train every year before the games. But what maybe everybody doesn't realize is just how special it is when she gets to bring a little bit of home with her. A grand total of one calendar year passed from the time Kara Webb was introduced to CrossFit stepping onto the field as one of the world's 50 fittest women in the 2012 CrossFit Games. For three years now, thousands of people have cheered her on in the sport's biggest annual event, but none cheer as passionately as the one she calls Goose. He's there for the whole entire journey and it's really important. Um, when I do well, he does well too, you know. I'm just the one out there doing it, you know, but I couldn't have done it on my own. Every day I'm so proud like to see her training and this is like the highlight you know to see her out there see her compete see where she's come from they met just five years ago in what they call a regular gym now they do everything together including traveling 7,000 miles from brisbane to los angeles on the dawn of kara's third crossfit games appearance a sport they took up together only less than four years ago that's when we kind of you know decided that we really loved it and we really kind of just wanted to make that a part of our lifestyle and, and eat well and live well and we've kind of just like progressed that way. It's made it so much easier when you've got somebody that wants to do it as well. As well as myself getting fitter and stronger, she never, never touched a weight. When we were at, like, at the gym, you know, she never did weights. It was just running, a bit of cardio, you know, and Brian, our coach, put her on a few weights and that makes me train harder because I don't want to be too far in her shadow. She finished 19th in Reebok's CrossFit Games in 2012, 12th in 2013. But Jason doesn't exactly seem shocked to see his wife's skyrocketing success as a professional athlete. I think yeah, she's just gifted. She's so good, you know, like, that's the one thing I'm proudest of, you know. She pushes every day in the gym and she'll get PBs every day. This year, Kara woke up on the final morning of the 2014 CrossFit Games in second place. 
During the midline march, a grueling race that put Strand on an already nagging injury, Kara's arm went numb with pain. She withdrew from the final event, heartbroken, but not defeated. Whether Jason's support is the key to Kara's success, or their shared passion for the CrossFit lifestyle is the key to their marriage, neither really seems too worried about figuring it all out. Besides, at this rate, the way she's going, they've got plenty more flights from Brisbane to Los Angeles left in the tank anyway. Yeah, he, he, he forever is always asking me, like, you're still enjoying it, mate? Are you still having fun? You still want to keep doing this? And, and, and when that changes, we won't do it anymore. Coming up, the sports desk leaves the arena and hits the beach. With the Herbalife Triathlon coming to Torrance, it's time to see how another athlete does, or maybe doesn't, prepare for another grueling test of fitness. If you keep tanning, indoors or out, the effects of harmful rays will show up on your skin. Wrinkles, age spots, and an increased risk of skin cancer, including melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer, and the second most common cancer in women 15 to 29. Stop tanning. Time may not be on your side. Learn how to protect your skin at spotskincancer.org. A message from the American Academy of Dermatology. So I've come up with the family emergency plan. Great. What is it? It's difficult to talk about, so I'm not telling you. How will we know what to do? You won't. I'm so glad I won't have to remember anything. And me too. Thanks for this, sweetie. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. Hi, welcome back to the sports desk. Now, here's a no-brainer for you. Fitness is not always about competition. Sometimes you just plain and simply got to set a goal and stick to it. Colin Kushner has this next story for you. Living in the South Bay has its perks, so what's a better way to break a sweat than at the beach every Sunday? Enter the Sunday Morning Fit Club, where people of all different athletic backgrounds get together for a fun workout on the sand. What we've tried to create is a place where people can come in with other people in the community that are looking to get in the best shape of their lives with them and have fun while they're doing it. Here at the Sunday morning beach workouts, everyone comes out for different reasons, but one coach in particular is getting ready for his second triathlon. Relax your neck, relax your head. Meet Jackson Day, a South Bay native who has been an athlete his entire life. The 25-year-old was a track and field athlete in college, but when he moved back to the South Bay, he was looking to get back into that competitive spirit. Moving back here to Redondo, I was kind of looking for something to compete in again. And there's a bunch of people down here, a bunch of the coaches that were doing the LA triathlon. It was just last year that Jackson completed in his first ever triathlon. He took first place in his age division and ninth place overall. Pretty impressive for a guy who didn't have that much preparation. Last year was actually, I didn't do a whole lot of preparing because I um, commute on my bike every day. I don't have a car. So that helps the, the bike portion of it. Um, I grew up here at the beach doing junior lifeguards. So I've always been a stronger swimmer. And then um, with my competitive running background, I've figured out a way to do about four to five days a week where I'm training for the run. Hey! The Herbalife LA Triathlon is coming to Torrance next month, and Jackson is getting prepped and ready to tackle the Olympic course this year. Last year I did the sprint triathlon, um, which is just a shorter, a shorter distance. So this year will be the Olympic distance version of that. So I'm basically doing double what I did last year. Everybody looks at triathlons differently. I mean, let's be honest, it's a very tough competition. But for Jackson Day, 
When fitness is your lifestyle, it makes it just a little bit easier. Well, that wraps up another week on the Sports Desk. Torrance, we joined the search for the fittest on Earth. We introduced you to the fittest in the South Bay, and we showed you how people all over Torrance are staying healthy and active. It's been a fun one. See you next week.